Today in this video I'm going to show you how to solve a black screen with a cursor on Windows 10 can be caused by a number of issues, including outdated drivers, faulty hardware, or a recent Windows update. How to launch the Windows Startup Automatic Repair Screen Restart your PC several times. Doing this repeatedly will launch the Windows Startup Automatic Repair Screen. Click Restart. If it doesn't fix the black screen issue, repeat this step and select Advanced Options. Then click to uninstall updates. Thereafter click on the uninstall latest quality update or uninstall latest feature update. Boot into safe mode. Windows safe mode launches your PC with the minimum drivers and programs running, which may help you avoid a black screen at startup. Safe mode means only Windows launches, eliminating any interference from unnecessary programs or drivers. How to boot Windows into safe mode. Follow the steps above to launch the Windows Repair Tool. This time, click Startup Settings. If you don't see that option, click See More Recovery Options, then click Startup Settings. Next, click Restart. After a few seconds, you'll see the Startup Settings screen. Press 5 on your keyboard to launch your computer in safe mode with networking. Once Windows has booted up, your desktop in safe mode should look something like this. Now, you can start eliminating potential causes of the Windows 10 or 11 black screen of death. First, uninstall applications that could interfere with your boot, like graphics drivers, audio drivers, or network drivers. You can uninstall Windows updates the way I uninstall them, you can also uninstall them this way, step by step. Now, reboot your Windows system normally. If the black screen is gone and everything is working, reset your PC. If the black screen with cursor issue on your PC is a result of a bug in your Windows, then resetting your Windows PC is the most basic yet most useful thing you can do. Then click see advanced repair options. Thereafter click to troubleshoot. Then click on reset this PC. Then, pick an option according to the prompt information. Then click reset to start resetting your PC. Follow the guide, confirm, and click restart to reset this PC. After it is finished, you must perform the initial setup and log into Windows. This way you can fix the computer too. If you like this tutorial after watching my video, please like the video. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.